Hi, Tiffany the Lady Golf Teacher here. As you can see, it's raining outside, so we're going to do something really cool inside. Working on your chipping game, something that you can implement anywhere, anytime, anyhow. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you very shortly. And you will need your sand iron, you will need something else in a golf ball, but I'm not going to tell you what that other thing is. I'll see you shortly. Tiffany the lady golf teacher here and um, as you can see I'm standing here in my living room it's pouring with rain outside so um, I thought well why not let's let's do something inside I asked a question this morning on Facebook you know what would you do to help your golf today and some of the responses I got was well you know I'm at work so I'm not doing anything maybe I'll visualize but you know you can do something because as you can see I'm here in my living room and I'm going to show you just a, a simple uh, chipping technique. We're just going to use a, a pillow, nice big cushy pillow. We're going to use a, a ball but the actual golf ball is actually made from, it's actually a, like made from cork. It's not a, it's not a, like a hard ball or anything so it's nice and soft so it won't travel very far. And where you're going to use, you know, sand wedge or something along that line. This is a sand wedge that I, when I was heavily into my playing at the time, you can see that this uh, sand wedge has had a lot, of, a lot of practice. So this is one of my spare ones that I keep at home. Now, what I see is when we're out on the golf course, and this, is, this will help you with this pillow. What I see when we're out on the golf course, or people are out on the golf course, is that, you know, they're too frightened of actually hitting the grass. And I get that a lot from women. Women are like, oh, you know, especially when they first started playing golf, is, oh, I'm so frightened of hitting the grass. So what I've done here is I've got a, a pillow here so that we can just get used to hitting the pillow. So you can actually feel, because what checks you want to do is you want to feel the bottom, that's the bottom there of the, the club. Okay, you actually want to feel that bottom of the club actually touching, touching the pillow and in order, you know, for the ball to work, the ball has to climb up onto the club face. So if the bottom of the, the club is touching the pillow, what actually happens is the ball will then climb up on the club face and then skewed off. It's not about actually getting under it and trying to scoop it, which is a lot what a lot of people think. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to just do a little chipping action. We're just going to get used to just letting that bottom or the sole of the club actually touch the, touch the pillow so the ball can climb up on the face and fly off the face. Something really simple to do, something that you could obviously practice at home when it's raining. You could even take a pillow to work and do it in your lunchtime. Why not? And um, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do and then I want you to um, implement that into your daily routine. You know, just get out in the lounge room and, and you know, it doesn't matter if you hit 10 balls, you know, it's just reinforcing that movement. So I'm just going to stand over here and get set. So notice the pillow is sitting a lot, a lot higher off the ground. That's just so that you can get used to actually the club actually touching that pillow okay um, makes life a lot easier but what I want you to be aware of is that you're not trying to lift your body up okay so when you're coming through you just want to hold that position but you can feel that swish when you're actually touching that pillow and when you're hitting a chip shot you want to feel that little swish like you're touching the grass okay so I'm just going to get this lovely cork ball up here on the pillow and then I'm just going to put my hands slightly forward in line with my left leg in. All right, and that's all I want to do. I just want to get that feel, okay? Touching that pillow. All right, so we get set. Touch that pillow. I don't need to see where the ball's going. All I want to do is just get the feeling of the shot. All right, that's all I want to do, get the feeling of the shot and actually feeling like I'm touching, you know, touching the bottom the, like, the bottom part of the club actually touching the pillow like you'd be touching the grass because you want that ball to climb up onto that club face. So this is something really easy to practice, something really easy to um, work on that you could do at home, like when it's raining, like pouring outside like it is today. Um, or, you, you know, you can do it in your lunch break at work or something. But 
you know, you want, if, if you only get a chance to play golf on the weekends, try and do something during the week that's actually just going to help you. So even if you're doing something simple like this, you know, when you get home at night and you're doing, you just hit 10 shots, just do it. You know, because then it's just reinforcing that movement of what you need to feel when you're actually out there playing on the golf course. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Take care and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.